Space Quest 1. Scrolling horizontally in EGA-like 16 color glory on the VDC chip. This was troublesome to get done right and I'll tell you why. This video is really a follow-up to the one about scrolling full screen graphics on the VDC chip. There we identified a problem with horizontal scrolling, meaning the image looks distorted as soon as you increase the virtual screen size. For understanding why that is, let me explain real quick how bitmap mode on the VDC chip works. The VDC chip has dedicated video RAM and for this showcase we will need 64 kilobytes of VRAM. Inside the VRAM we have one area called screen RAM. This contains information about each single pixel on screen, whether the pixel should be displayed in foreground color or in background color, just that. And then we have attribute RAM. This contains the information what background color and foreground color actually means. Unfortunately, not per pixel, but only in a 8x2 pixel resolution. Now, what would it look like if these two rasters are not 100% fully aligned? Well, exactly like this. I noticed that the picture that was supposed to be in the left was actually displayed in the right and with distorted pixels. But what if pixels weren't distorted? What if the reason is that screen RAM and attribute RAM just weren't aligned? And that's what I tried. I shifted screen RAM while keeping attribute RAM fixed. And 79 pixels later, pixels finally seemed to line up. Then there still was a weird 8 pixel column on the left hand side, reducing the visible size of the screen to 79 bytes horizontally also solved this. With these settings in place, we can now scroll horizontally just as we expected. Summarizing, Screen RAM needs to start at the address of the second virtual screen. Attribute RAM starts where you think it should start. Displayed width should be reduced by 1, but total line size still needs to add up to the image's width. The reason for this weird behavior is probably something with latching and timing or whatever. So, here it is, the Arcada in finest 8-bit 128VDC scrolling. And here is another example as seen from Ultima 6's intro. Please keep in mind, only the C64K emulator will be able to reproduce the exact behavior of the VDC chip. You'll very likely be using WISE most of the time, which is at version 3.7 at this time, but VDC emulation is just not accurate there. All this was done in BASIC by using the VDC BASIC extension. To fully understand what's going on here, please watch the previous videos on the topic. You'll find them inside the VDC playlist of this channel. Also, you'll find the code for what I did on GitHub. The link is in the description below. Next topic will either be animations or soft sprites or the VDC's text mode. If you want to find out, make sure to subscribe to the 8-bit theory. And that's it for this episode. If you like it, please like it. Thanks for watching, have a great day!